Hey guys, Tiago here with Classical Technology. Thank you for joining me for another video. And I want to thank and welcome all of my recent subscribers as well. Today, we're going to be doing the tech news for the week of November 11th. We have some pretty juicy stuff coming up. We're going to tackle three different categories. Computer hardware, water cooling, and finally, general tech, and as well as new releases of games and things of that nature. So stay tuned and let's get to the news. So the big item on the news recently has been the announcement of Threadripper 3, AMD Ryzen, their really high-end, high-end platform. It's going to be released on November 25th. You're going to have a 32 core for $1,999, a 24 core for $1,399. As Intel doesn't really have a direct competitor until you go to Xeon, their biggest processor is the 18 core that's being released this month as well, the 10980XC. That's also going to be pretty exciting to see them battle it out. Of course, a 32 core and a 24 core are going to beat it in terms of multi-threaded performance. Now, this one was supposed to be released already, but AMD pushed it until November. I guess it's either they're trying to compete with Intel a little bit, and there were a couple of problems with the third generation Ryzen where it wasn't hitting its boost clocks. So I really think that AMD just wanted a little more time to be able to not only catch up with their production, but also make sure that these issues are fixed. Because if you guys know, the 3900X, while it came out months ago it stayed perpetually out of stock for a very long time and just recently it's been hitting the shelves again i know originally when i got one it was like pretty difficult i had to keep an eye on newegg and micro center as soon as they would get even 10 in it seems like they were snapped up within a few hours it's kind of ironic that it's intel that's a little bit more budget friendly now instead of the more expensive thread ripper processors but we'll see how this all pans out let me know what you guys think what you guys would choose coming up and if you guys are looking at this price war now with excitement because i know i am continuing some processor news the intel 9900ks has launched recently now there's not too much excitement around it just because the 9900K has been around for a while now and it can really be overclocked to five gigahertz already. But the 9900KS has the advantage that all cores boost to five gigahertz. It's just a much better bin chip. It's a special edition. Intel did the same thing with the 8700K. They do this at the end of the processor life cycle just to kind of, you know, kick it into gear one last time before they announce the next generation, which apparently might be a 10 core. So we'll see. That could be pretty exciting as well. A little bit more exciting news is the AMD Ryzen 3950X, which is a 16 core processor. Now, this one was supposed to be released already, but AMD pushed it until November. I guess it's either they're trying to compete with Intel a little bit, and there were a couple of problems with the third generation Ryzen where it wasn't hitting its boost clocks. So I really think that AMD just wanted a little more time to be able to not only catch up with their production, but also make sure that these issues are fixed. Because if you guys know, the 3900X, while it came out months ago, it stayed perpetually out of stock for a very long time. And just recently, it's been hitting the shelves again. I know originally, when I got one, it was like pretty difficult. I had to keep an eye on Newegg and Micro Center. As soon as they would get even 10 in, it seems like they were snapped up within a few hours. And now for some water cooling news. Last week we covered EK Water Block and they released some new reservoirs that have an integrated pump. Interestingly enough, a D5 pump and not only a DDC pump. So recently they've just announced them for pre-order. It's going to be available this month. It's going to be very interesting to see how it performs, how it looks. It does have DRGB, which is the digital RGB. If you guys have built any computers recently, you know there's the 4-pin RGB cable. And then there's the 3-pin RGB cable. Most modern motherboards should have. Some don't. You could always buy a little RGB controller. I know Bits Power um, sells one that you can actually connect everything and control it with a you know a small little handheld remote that way you can still enjoy your drgb without having a necessarily newer motherboard and that just plugs in usually sata or molex um, and it may even plug into your motherboard's usb header so that's something to just keep in mind ek has just announced that x570 which is the amd third generation ryzen platform monoblock for the asus x570 Strix E. 
So that's pretty exciting because the monoblock really changes the look of a water-cooled build. You really cover the VRMs and the CPU. And it's really interesting that now these high-end things are coming out for Ryzen. Before, only Intel would get these really cool parts and these hot motherboards. AMD would usually get the little bit weaker motherboard, nothing really cool. But now they have the, the formula, they have the MSI godlike. So they really went out of their way to make sure that these processors have high-end motherboards. And some of these cooling accessories that we're seeing are really showing that. So be on the lookout for that EK Waterblocks monoblock. That's going to be really cool and definitely look sick in the water cooling build. In some gaming news, Red Dead Redemption 2, which came out very recently on November 5th, has gotten sort of a lukewarm response just because it's been a really buggy release. Um, a lot of people, including other big YouTubers, have had issues installing it, running benchmarks, and playing the game. I know I had a lot of problems when I was trying to run it. The computer kept crashing or just hanging up on the, on the black screen. Um, but apparently, they have released a new patch that should fix a lot of these issues. I'm actually going to be jumping on the game very soon and really playing it out i do have it on the ps4 pro i know pc master race doesn't allow you to have a console but one sneaked in there anyway and the low frame rates are obviously always an issue so that's why i'm looking forward to gaming it on the pc at 4k with high frame rates and all the graphics on ultra it's going to be hard to run even with a 2080 ti so let's hope that this patch fixes it because it's a really great game really immersive has great gameplay and be on the lookout because as soon as I get a good feel for the game, and I'll give you guys an update next week on how this game goes. Other general tech news, this is the time that Black Friday starts to get closer and closer. In a lot of stores already, we're starting to get the buzz about different deals and different Black Friday specials that we may have. Even though we're still a few weeks away, that's going to be the Friday after Thanksgiving. Black Friday is always pretty cool because you can really score some nice tech deals. Sometimes it's nothing too, too crazy. It's stuff that they're just trying to get rid of. But once in a while, there's a product you've been looking at for a few weeks or a few months, but the price has been a little high. And all of a sudden, the price gets cut down. Makes sense to pick it up. As we get closer to Black Friday, I'll definitely have some more content on that on Tech News, probably the week preceding it, and then definitely the week after to see what did you guys get. Almost like waking up in Christmas. So stay tuned for that guys thank you very much for watching i want to thank all of my new subscribers again for the new people consider subscribing like leave a comment if you have any questions and remember we do videos every tuesday and friday and every monday is tech news so i look forward to seeing you guys again and i'll see you on the next video